prayer on the chair fiqh. <coughs> the prayer on the chair fiqh is important for those people who pray on the chair to learn this fiqh because just like when the person gets rich, he needs to learn the hakam of zakat. So when the person is about to make hajj, he needs to learn the fiqh of what? Fiqh of hajj. When he wants to make umrah, he needs to learn, to learn as well the fiqh of the umrah. So if he is now coming to pray on the chair, then we will tell you to learn the fiqh of the chair. <coughs> and unfortunately, <coughs> we have lots of people, they do hajj without learning the fiqh of the hajj. Lots of people that do umrah, they don't learn the fiqh of umrah. Lots of people get rich, they don't learn the fiqh of zakat. Lots of people start <coughs> selling and buying, but they don't learn how to sell and buy halal way and to avoid the haram. This chair, I call it fashion. I call it now, the prayer of the chair is the prayer of the fashion. It's the trend, basically. And I repeat this, because I've said it once, maybe before, I repeat this, to say to the brothers, you have to be careful when you pray on the chair, that you are in need of the chair. <coughs> if you ask any person amongst us, he's old, and he witnessed the prayer a long time ago, he will tell you, we don't have these chairs, we never had these chairs. Chess was really something we never seen. It. We used to be people praying on the floor, sitting on the floor. So now praying in the chair became a phenomenon. So that time nobody prayed in the chair. If somebody was praying in the chair at that time, they would look at him strange. What when is this prayer? It's a new prayer for us? Now it's the opposite. Somebody praying on the floor, sitting on the floor, which is really odd. Never seen it before. So the sunnah became the odd. And the odd, which is the bid'ah, became what? It's the sunnah. <coughs> First of all, I would say to the people praying on the chair, may Allah you. I get you well, inshallah. I'm praying your feet. The one who is legitimately in need of a chair is the only the following person. The one who could stand up for making qiyam, but he cannot sit. Not just make sujood, he cannot what? Sit on the floor. He is definitely in the future. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He stands up in the prayer, but he cannot sit on the floor because of something wrong with his, you know, legs, he cannot stretch them properly. Okay? So he cannot sit on the floor. This is the person, we say to him, chair is 100% clean. Pray in the chair. But he's going to teach you some fiqh not to do with the chair. Now when he does that situation, a person who can stand up, and when he sits, he can sit on the chair, he can't sit on the floor, he cannot prostrate. And we say to the brother, you know, when you stand up, don't stand up like these people stand up in front of the rope. But line up your feet with the what? With the rope. When you do so, that chair of yours is going to be behind. This is going to be the dilemma now for those people who pray what? Yeah, yeah. Behind. <coughs> if you learn the fiqh of the chair, those people will never be hesitating to pray behind you. Look at all the time people avoid to pray beside the chair. Or the they don't like the chair. You see the chair, they don't like it. Straight away, they don't like it. They don't like to pray to pray behind it. And they feel sometimes annoyed with the people praying on the chair. Because I said some people pray on the chair, they don't need the chair. So that person, when he comes to the rukur, we say to him, make rukur standing. If you can't bend your back, just make what? A gesture with your head, like this. But don't sit to make rukur. Some ya Allah, you have it still, you are still what? Standing up. Then when it comes to sujood, you sit on the chair. <coughs> so <coughs> when you sit on the chair, slight pull to the chair. It's not going to be that harmful. Just a slight pull from that with the chair. Then you will sit with your back and your buttocks is in parallel to the road. And that person behind me will thank you so much. It's like Allah for not annoying me. I don't have to really pray, you know, crouch or for example, pray behind you underneath your chair or okay, just a flat pull. Then you do your two sajda, then after that, which is the sajda you're gonna be what? And you're gonna gesture. That's it. And then after that, the second laka. When you do the second like up, push the chair what? Behind. A bit. And you line up with your feet. 
This is a person who will play on the chess. He needs to learn this. He does this, will have no problem with playing on the chess. <coughs> ah, so this is the first case. Person who can stand up, and he can't sit on the floor. He can't make such that. But there's a second case where he could stand up, but he could sit on the floor, but he can't make prostration. Do you understand that? He could stand up, but he could sit on the floor, but he can't make what? Prostration. In this case, we say to the person that if you could, no problem if you just stand up and to sit down, then sitting down on the floor is better than sitting on the chair. But you're not allowed to sit on the chair because you could sit on the floor. So you sit on the floor, it's not profitable Allah. You sit on the floor, make your <coughs> two sajda, which is because you can't make them on the floor, okay? Back, uh, uh, with the uh, pointing, and then he comes up, you get up, you get up. So you sit on the floor, and you get up. It's better than sitting on the chair, but the chair is an option. No problem, but the better to sit on the floor. Now when you sit on the floor, how do you sit on the floor? The best <laughs> sitting is the way that you sit on the which is a tirash. If you can't, then tawarruk. If you can't, cross-legged. If you can't, even you could put your feet. And ask your brother, stretch your feet like this. Yeah. So that, like that. Stretch them fully, fully. You could pray like that. No problem, pray like this. Stretch your feet towards the Qibla. You're not going to cause any harm to anybody because it's in front of you. It's only because harm on you are, then you're behind you. That's the problem. So in front of you, stretch your feet and pray. So the first sitting is the, the sitting of the prayer, which is Firash, the Tawarruq, okay? Tawarruq, which is the same, the same way you meet the Shaykh. If you come across legged, okay? As long as you are relaxed and or you could press your, you know, that's better than the chair. Right? Better than the chair. We stand onto the chair, okay? Learn how to pull it if you can, whenever. Now there is brothers who made Jazamallahu khayra in their masjid a chair which is I would say I'm not going to say bid'ah hasana but helps which is a chair that it is all the time folded and when you sit on it it will open so it's got two legs hooking onto the floor and those two legs they are not on the road they are behind so when the chair is empty, even a normal person. So it is like just two legs, two legs, two legs, two legs. And in those two legs, there is a chair which can open like that. So if the person, there is nobody there who is ill, that chair will not cause any trouble. So the person could as well come and pray standing up in it, and make rukuwa, and comfortably. It will not block him. And it will not make a separation between the feet of his and the feet of the other brother. Well, the other chairs, you can't put the feet with the feet. You have to put chair with the chair, leg with the leg. So that's a very good chair. I have seen it, mashallah. And as I said, it does not in, uh, uh, break off the line. It's actually a continuous line. And the person, he just when he sits, that chair will open with him. He'll just push it like this and he will open. When he stands up, the spring will take it back. Okay, and he will be lined up with the people. That's a good chair. Have I shown you the chair of the sajood? Chair with that chair. Okay. There's a chair which is now has been innovated. And this is the chair where for the people who want to make sujood. And as I said, you remember when we talked about the plane, you open the tray, which is not allowed, we said. So if you are making gesture on the chair, like this on sujood, don't ever bring a pillow to pray on it. Or you're sitting on the floor, you bring a pillow to pray on top of it. Either you make sujood on the floor, or you make a gesture, but don't put something uh, high in order to make sujood, like the table in front of you in the aeroplane for that food. So this chair, subhanAllah, I never thought that they would innovate something like this. They call it the sujood chair. Okay, the sujood chair. Let me just look at it here. Okay, that's the one. Everybody look at it. Whoa. You see the two, it's the two chair. Okay, it's a chair, it's in front of it like. Okay, can you see? It's amazing. <laughs> How these people can elevate things. The Shiyukh said this chair is not allowed. Okay? You have a fatwa from Sheikh Salah Fuzan that, that chair 
It's not allowed. So he's sitting down and he's making sujoon and what? On that thing which is in front of him. Right. Third case. Third case is a person who is not allowed to use the chair. He's the one who could make sujood. He can make sajda on the floor. Okay? Yes, he cannot stand up, but he can't sit on the chair. Because if he sat on the chair, he said, I can't stand up. Yes, brother, you can't stand up, sit on the floor. Because if you sat on the chair, you can't make what? Sujood. So if you sat on the chair and you are allowed, and you are able to make sajda on the floor, you have missed Rukun 1, pillar number 1, which is first sajda. Pillar number 2, second sajda. Pillar number 3, the sitting between the two sajda. All these pillars, you've missed them. Your prayer is invalid. Now how many people do you pray on the chair and they are able to prostrate on the floor? Plenty. So those are the ones who are going to tell them, uncle, brother, you move the chair and what? Sit on the floor and pray on the floor. That's what you should do because you are making the prostration. So in this case, we say it's not allowed to, to use the, what? the chair. So, so we said now, a person who could stand up, but he can't sit on the floor, he can't make sujood, this one uses the chair 100%. Person could stand up, he could sit on the floor, but he can't make sujood, then he's got a choice, better to sit on the floor. Person, he can't stand up. Okay? He can't stand up. But you could make sujood, he's not allowed to use what? The chair. At all. A person cannot stand up, cannot make sujood, cannot, but he could sit down on the floor. We said he could sit down on the floor. Because he can't stand up, he sits down on the floor, and he can't stand up, and then on the floor, he could just make sujood whatever he can. Make sajda. Because he can't stand up, he could sit on the floor. Right. Now, after this we say, why does the people use the chair when they are not in need of the chair? Why the people are not praying on the floor? There are reasons. Number one, he is ignorant. And this is the easiest of all. Ignorant. Number two, nobody is to teach him. There's no imam to remind about this issue. Number three, people follow one another. They see a chair, there will be plenty of chairs. So do it. Number four, which is the, 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 the worst of all, the arrogance, the pride. There are a lot of stuff. And that's the worst. So we're going to kill that bid'ah. We're going to kill that fashion. Well, what you have seen in Masjid uh, on Sunday, yesterday, yesterday, Sunday, it's a new built Masjid. Yesterday, in the official opening, uh, with the scissors. Huh? <laughs> The official opening that masjid, Allah Musta'an. Okay? And it was the first lecture I made there in that masjid. MashaAllah, it's a beautiful Bangani masjid. And Bangladesh, I don't know why they like the chairs. <laughs> so there were about six, seven chairs here. Second row, six, seven chairs. And that's like six, seven chairs in the first row, six, seven chairs. Yeah. But they use a the chair, all of them. All of them. So I said, then when they made the prayer, I made this. Uh, I lecture upon this, but when they prayed, there was a row, the some chairs were up in the Salat al-Maghrib, empty, because there are not enough old people to fill them. And people, they don't dare to move them, they're scared. So he's going to pray upon the gym, I was not able to stand up. So they're going to be left like this, and so the chairs are taking the, okay, the front rows. They've got the priority of the front rows. They can't, nobody can move them. When I talked about this after the, the Maghrib, I said, those chairs should be folded. And only when they are needed, they will be taken out. Alhamdulillah, they fold them up, all of them. So there were only two chairs in the front, I remember, and two chairs where they, 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 they all... So everybody sees an old person, please grab a chair for him and open it for him. But to make it like this, look at White Chapel. Go to White Chapel Masjid. White Chapel is a huge masjid. There are chairs there, more than 100. They're open on both sides. Most of them are heavy. Yet what? They're empty. And they're praying, three on that chair, three on that chair, between the chairs are empty. What is it, in a cinema? It's not a prayer. Do you understand me? It's like, they're not connected to the road. Two chairs there, people pray on the front, they pray on their own. It's not right. Well, they're in a cafeteria, or in a restaurant. It's a prayer. Because of those phenomena, this fashion. 
It's a fashion. We want to become the fashion. So we want old people now to start having the guts to pray where? On the floor. People look at the first stage. And later on, we we'll become what? MashaAllah. Sunnah revival. But we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cure them, inshaAllah. Do you have any questions? Go ahead. When a person who uses a chair to make a sujood, but he's sitting between the sujood, that is a problem. What can that person use the chair for? Again, again, his neck, he could make sujood. But it's the sitting between the sujood that is. Between the sujood. Yeah. So, how, how the chair is going to help him? How much? How much? I want to understand from him. Yeah. If it's an ankle injury, he can't, he can't. He cannot sit on the floor. Then he sit on the chair. Remember, we said. But you could make sujood. Is that we say? Okay. If he is not able to make the, between the two, this is another another case which is really very rare. You could make sujood, but he cannot sit on the floor. Is that what you say? He cannot sit on the floor whatsoever. That's another case. He could, cannot sit on the floor because of the ankle injury. But he could make sujood, and we say to him, then do what you can, which is on the chair. No problem, inshallah. Because we don't really want to harm him. You cannot say to him, stay in the sujood all the way. Now, 